Hello and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. Now today we're going to be going over making grass in Blender using particles. Now I'm on form.nistic.com where you can register and post any questions you have on these tutorials or on Blender and you can also show off your renders. Now I'm also making a Blender 3D DVD. Um, it's going to be two to three hours long and it's going to be on making a character in Blender and 20 bucks. So if you really like these tutorials, it's going to be like these tutorials on steroids. So um, if you're interested, just send a message to me on YouTube or on Nistic. And don't forget to subscribe if you're on YouTube. So let's go ahead and get started on our tutorial. I have Blender opened up already, so I'm going to go to Blender and we have our default cube in the center of the screen. Now we don't need our default cube today so we're going to just hit X or a selected objects. Then we're going to hit spacebar add mesh plane. We're going to use a plane for this tutorial. So we're going to hit the tab button, hit the S key, and we're going to hit 3 to make it 3 times bigger. Now with that done, we're going to go down here to the object button and down to the physics button and then we're going to hit particles like we normally do and I'm going to do a little free rotate here alt left mouse button so we can see everything a little bit better you can see our plane here so we have our particles we're going to go to particle motion I'm going to make normal a little bit bigger and then test it out Make sure particles are coming up. Uh, we don't want them going that high, so we'll take down the normal to about 20, or 0.02, not 20. And so I think that height's about good. Then we're going to hit random twice little right arrow button so it's at the same number as normal particles we're going to up the amount hit static kinda see that there it's a bit big so we're gonna go back to particle motion make it smaller let's just make it really small 0 0.001 and bring down the random a bit to 0 0.001 and up the amount and I'm just experimenting with this as you can see here 0 0.005 and 0 0.005 and so that seems uh, about right there kind of the height of grass and so what we're gonna do we're going to hit the X button once and put a little Y. We're just adding forces on it, making a little bit more uh, straight and fray, making it look like actual grass, not just strands of something, because grass is not like exactly straight and not exactly in one direction. So now that we have that, we're going to go to View, Top, and hit Shift D, and then hit R. Rotate this 90 degrees by hitting 90. So we get a little bit more grass in here. And then we're going to go down here. It copies the same options. We're going to have it move a little bit in the other direction. And let's actually rotate this. Just follow with, with me on uh, changing the forces here. Ro rotate it another. 90 degrees. Whoops, we have to do that from top view. Rotate that another 90 degrees. Negative 90 to go the other way. So now we have a little grass here. Looking all good. And then I'm going to go to top view. And we're going to make another copy. Shift D. Hit 0. Put in the center. Go to particles. And then we're going to delete them. That's going to be our ground. So, before we run out of time here, let's go ahead and put some materials on this. So, go to the Materials tab, 
I'm going to turn it kind of a brownish. I don't know how we can get a brown here. Okay, so we got a brownish color, as you can see over here. And then we're going to select the grasses, add new, and make them green. Make them a darker green. And then try to select the other one. I don't know if we're selecting it or not. Hit A to deselect everything. Ah, deselect this right side here. Go back to add new. Make it a roughly the same color. And there we have it. We have something that looks uh, more like grass here. So, uh, we have our bottom plane, this is the ground, and then the two grass layers. So, I'm going to go down here to the render options, put it at 50%, so render a little bit faster. Go up to render, render current frame, and we should see our grass. So, as you can see, it looks alright. We have uh, just some... 3D looking grass here, uh, kind of random, and then we have our ground that we made. So, you can really just play with the options there with the grass, make it longer, shorter, uh, lean to the right, lean to the left. You can model the ground so it has little bumps in it, or whatever you want to do with it. So, just have fun. So, I hope you learned a little bit more about particles with Blender and the things that you can do with them, especially the static particles. Uh, you can even go this, go even further and actually make hair with the static particles. Well, anyways, that's it for this tutorial, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!